Hello, and welcome to Beyond the Frame. My name's Dottie San Martin, and it's been a little while since we've been together, but today we have a really, really fun show, and I can't wait to introduce who we have on our, our show today as our guest. Um, but anyway, welcome to our show this afternoon. Uh, I have the pleasure of having Pat and Lisa Sanello on the show today. Neither one of them need any introduction whatsoever. Um, but I want to say, you know, the, the uh, other night I was talking about the show and how excited I was. And, and I asked my husband, I said, if you had one word to describe the Sanellos, what would it be? And he said, visionary. And I said, well, that's close to what I thought. I thought innovative. So Pat and Lisa, welcome to Beyond the Frame. Welcome back to Beyond the Frame. Thank you, Donna. So first of all, I am, I mean, y'all have just stolen my heart because I love technology and y'all have an employee now uh, as a guest services associate, Bella, uh, that is uh, your newest employee. And we would like to explore how Bella has, how Bella came to be and a little bit about what Bella does. So welcome to the show and tell us, how did Bella come to be? It feels itchy. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Well, Bella has been a dream of mine for a number of years. I've been talking about robots and talking about how they can help us in our business. And our business has become more challenged uh, during the pandemic and even now in trying to uh, find employees. Uh, Bella is not replacing. Bella is one of our staff members and assists our servers uh, in the center. So she has become an important part of and a welcome part of our uh, team. Sure, sure. And um, so, Bella has what? What? First of all, is there only one Bella for your center, or do you have multiple Bellas? We have six Bellas for this location, Hedpins Fort Myers. We have two in the uh, customer service area. Um, she delivers shoes uh, to the <clears throat> to the guests. Um, we have two at our pizza station delivering pizzas. She's got four trays on her so she can deliver to four different customers at the same time. Um, and we have two in the kitchen, uh, expediting orders out of the kitchen so that our staff members can be out on the lanes and with the customers and taking care of the guests. So we've got six and they're, they're all called Bella, but we are going to be having a name uh, the robot contest down the road and they will all have different Fine. names, different personalities. Um, so we're real excited about um, the additions uh, and uh, they've been very welcomed by um, our staff members. Our staff members are very, very excited about having this assistance. Oh, I can only imagine. And I, the, you know, as we were speaking a little bit off air, it's, it's so tough with being short staffed sometimes and having such a challenge finding employees that want to work or finding people that want to work. Uh, and when those people that do show up on a routine basis are short, you know, a person or two, ha having that extra workload is, you know, it, it bogs them down and they can't deliver as quite the experience sometimes that they should be because they're simply tired, they're overworked. And I can only imagine the relief that your employees must be feeling to know they have somebody, first of all, that's going to show up all the time and, you know, is, is it pleasant to be around? Uh, but that has to be very motivating for your employees. I, I believe that the stress level amongst employees, especially at our peak times when they're rushing to try to get orders out or they're taking drink orders and food is already sitting in the window and they haven't even delivered the drinks yet. This solves a lot of those problems. So I really believe just the, the general um, happiness with the staff. Um, you know, some people, you know, thought maybe this was to replace staff. This is not about replacing staff. This is about making it better for the staff. Well, the staff yeah, member can be on the lane area and great for the customers. They could take drink orders. They could take the food orders. They could take care of any issues that the people may have on the lanes. And the orders are sent directly into the kitchen or the pizza area. And then 
they're not running in there waiting for the food. They stay out there with the customer. And then the expediter then tells uh, Bella which lane or which table to go to. And so the food is coming out hot. It's coming out in a timely fashion. And the servers will be able to generate more tips with better service. Oh, that, I mean, and you know, y'all have always been known for having exceptional customer service. I can, you know, if I were a customer coming into your facility and I see, you know, Bella delivering the food or bringing the shoes down, for me, that impresses me. It's like, oh my gosh, my experience just got even better by the efficiency that you guys now have. So tell me a little bit about the feedback from your customers. Oh, the response from the customer has been phenomenal. They're helping with social media, they're videotaping, they're laughing. Uh, having a great time with her. Uh, I went down, we had a few lanes going with uh, uh, some mothers here with children. And mm -hmm. we went, that was your experience with Bella. We love Bella. And, you know, the kids love it. Bella will even go down for a birthday party and sing happy birthday to the child or the adult, whoever it may be. So the uh, potential with it is just unlimited at this point. And, and it's a great marketing tool for us uh, on promotions that we're doing and just welcoming sure. her. Sure. Now let's talk a little bit about the logistics of Bella. So um, how long will Bella uh, run without having to be like, I guess you plug her in? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Okay. It'll run 10 to 12 hours uh, during the, the shift the day. Uh, it, it is uh, recharged in four hours. So it's getting ready to, to, to work you know, the following day. Mm -hmm. uh, so it, it's really quick. It, it maps the whole facility so it knows exactly what the terrain is, where to go. And, you know, it's all programmed. Uh, and if an obstacle is in the way, like a person, if they're coming down from the pizza area to deliver a pizza and there's somebody standing in front of them, it will pause and it will go right around that person. So it, 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 has, a, it has an area um, around it um, so, so it can just dodge those obstacles. Um, and, and I, and I watched this firsthand. Eric was standing in front of me. It dodged Eric. I was right in front of it. It moved around me. I just continued on to, you know, deliver the, the shoes to the lane. Very Incredible. Intuitive. That, that, and, and so does Bella have a personality that you've seen Bella so far? Bella does. <laughs> it feels itchy. Yeah. <laughs> Hands are warm, meow. Watch this. It feels itchy, meow. Stop touching my ears, meow. <laughs> so, so if somebody tries to abuse her, she, she'll, she'll spark back at you and tell you about it. Oh my it. goodness. But it's uh, and it's constantly day by day. And we've only had it, I said, a little over three weeks now. Um, any suggestions we make they're putting the improvements into it. Uh, oh, nice. So, yeah, bright future for Bella and her friends. <laughs> so I'm assuming that Bella is in other types of businesses, correct? I mean, this yeah. is the first that we've seen them in bowling, which doesn't surprise me that it happens to be at the Sanellos. But um, <laughs> this is the yeah. first that we've seen. But what about in other businesses? Is, 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 no, do they I, have their product yeah. there? Bella, Bella has been uh, in hospitals, restaurants, uh, hotels, uh, campuses. You know, in the early stages of her life, she started a lot of that. Bella can be uh, integrated even to uh, take an elevator uh, in, in a hotel to go up to oh. sort of deliver the food um, to that particular room. Uh, in the medical field, it's delivering drugs to, you know, different rooms mm -hmm. and patients. It could be encased for, for more security. Uh, so really, when I came up with the idea with, they never thought about bowling centers or family entertainment centers. Mm -hmm. And I just saw the potential and what we're struggling with in, in a 50,000 yeah. square larger, even a 24,000 square foot facility, how it could help us get better customer service and help in the shortage of uh, employees. Well, and, you know, you think about um, so many centers, you know, they take their orders from, say, a, a QPAD or they have lane servers that go down now. And when those lane servers don't show up, 
it really cripples them. Um, and, yeah. or even like, you know, t either, uh, even like a taking orders on a kiosk, there's some people that are, you know, they struggle. Now, what do I do? How do I get that? Bella is, is definitely a solution when it comes to delivery of things like that, that now, you know, there's just a shortage of people to go around. Well, our plan was to change the model and to bring the shoes down to the customer because the customer, we're doing most of our business online. Uh, here at the Hepkins Fort Myers, mm -hmm. where they mm -hmm. can choose at the time. So they can go directly to the lane when the lane, you know, time is available. And then Bell, we're going to have a human brain bring the shoes down there. But at this point now, we can have Bella bring the shoes down there and Bella says your shoes are here. So that, that's a pretty neat uh, addition on it. And we see the same thing with the kiosks. Uh, mm -hmm. We're going to be able to select their lanes go to the lanes and then the shoes brought down to them as well as their food order. Uh, we, we do a massive amount of pizza and bowls on Sundays over here. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. Bella's been doing a phenomenal job where the pizzas are coming out hot. Before we would have some complaints that the pizza got there is cold because yeah. the server's running back and forth. And this is a big facility. So they're running all over the place. Yeah. Now the service stays there, Bella comes it, it, and the customer can take it off. We prefer the, the uh, lane ambassador uh, take it off and serve the customers. Uh, so the ability is right there. They're getting the food in a timely fashion, fashion and it's nice and hot by the time they get the food. And, and I think that there's a, a little bit of a, a learning curve for our customers too. We actually witnessed Bella bringing shoes and another lane was finishing up and the customers put the, the shoes back on Bella to take them back up to the <laughs> Okay, well, maybe they're trying to help find a new role yeah. for Bella. <laughs> that would help without, you know, even prompting, you know, so I thought that was great. Yeah, it's been, it's been a great experience with her and, and, and the response on social media and the customers and the employee. The, the big yeah. thing is the employee engagement with and, and really looking at it as a tool, uh, you know, a helper, a mm -hmm. helper that they get back. I mean, they're getting the tips yeah. on it, so yeah. it's getting better service on it and Bella is very reliable. As I said, she works 10 to 12 hours a day. Uh, she's here seven days a week. And that uh, over time. overtime. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I I would think that your your food and beverage sales, you would start to see, you know, those increase because people see that there's not, you know, it's not going to take a while to get their food and they're seeing that the food is nice and hot when they're getting it and, you know, will be a little less hesitant to, to maybe if there's a line or something, you know, in food and beverage, they're, they're going to still go on an order because Bella's there. So I, that, that would be very interesting to, to track that as well. So, and, and, you know, we were speaking a little bit earlier and I'd ask if Bella could answer questions. And currently you have Bella for uh, the different, uh, you know, the shoes and the food and, uh, but as time goes on, how do you, how do you vision having more robots integrate into your business? More, more robots. Oh, how are we oh, oh, definitely. I know there's a, there's a, there's a baby, there's a, is it baby yeah. Bella? Yeah. Oh, baby it's bot. Kitty bot, which has LED screen on it and will be our uh, lane ambassador or concierge, concierge at the front area. Uh, we'll tell you what specials are going on. Uh, we'll even direct you to a party. So if the Miller party, birthday party was happening, was on lane seven and eight, uh, Kitty Bot could take you down there and uh, talk about it a bit. Could also promote hyperballing or a so, number of so, other specials. So Kitty Bot has a big uh, screen on the front of her that we'll be able to run um, advertisements, specials, and also be talking about them, walking through the center going, check out Hyper Bowling uh, or our pizza bowl on Sunday nights. So she'll be, she'll basically will be our traveling advertiser within PR the center. PR person. Um, a PR person. And also, um, she also has small little trays that, that uh, can, so delivery can happen as well, whatever we may use her for. Uh -huh. um, you know, if, if, if I envision a guest of people coming in, they're like, oh, we're here for the Miller party. Oh, follow me. I'll take you right to the Miller party. And the robot will be able to just take the, the guest right down to where the party's happening. So that'll be able to be programmed ahead of time. So, you know, th there's going to be a lot of interaction 
with the robot and and uh, doing a lot more with it. You know, we, we just the sky's the limit. Yes. And and you said programmed in advance. How how do you program? I mean, is it from Bella itself that you put in the parameters, at, you know, the lanes and stuff, or how how is that right now? Yes, uh, basically it works with Google speech and we could tell it what to do, and what to okay. happen. Um, used in a restaurant business, it would be like the, the concierge in the front and it would tell you about the specials and then it would lead you to uh, an individual and also would direct you to a table or a lane or whatever. So it's unlimited, it's just what your imagination would think about and utilizing it to uh, talk about Super Bowl promotion, come and talk about. So it, it would promote those items and it catches people's attention. Yeah. Oh yeah, so, definitely. Yeah, so over here, we'll eventually have seven of them because it's a 50,000 square foot facility. Mm -hmm. But in all the facilities, we may have one or two just to assist. It will also in the future deliver alcohol, uh, making sure that people of age, but it can sure. do that. So we could have different robots and the robots, we don't mix the robots, the shoot robots take care of shoots. The pizza robots take care of pizza. The other robots take care of the food from the expediter in the kitchen. Sure. And so. when, when they're traveling through the center, one of the things that I love about it, because we were sitting up having lunch on the terrace bar today. And so I see Bella going and, and streaming across her back is the ticker tape going to lane 21. So you can just look up and know that, oh, okay, that robot's on its way to that lane. So oh, the very staff, nice. staff member can get down there quickly and make sure that those guests get served. So I thought that was a really, really nice uh, touch. And once that food's delivered, if there's another lane to go to, the ticker tape, the, you know, symbol changes on the back. Now I'm headed to lane 15 for tray number two. And tray number two is flashing. So we know that's the delivery that's going on. So it's really sending signals to the staff members of where they need to be to give the best service with the assistance of Bella. Or so Rosie. all the staff members are a part of that now. They're right. all working. It's not like you have one person that's in charge of the robots. That, so this is all integrated into all your departments and all the staff members are very aware of what they need to be looking for. Right. Um, yep. That's that's great. So so I'm understanding that most of the commands are all just verbal to Bella. Uh, so the the, the well, no. Bella will work with verbal commands, but also on her screen. There's a, uh, there's a menu over there. So if we're sending it okay. to a lane, or we're sending it to another area, the limos, the lounge area. So it's probably hard to see, but this is all. It feels itchy. <laughs> So um, this is all the lanes, but there's a Nemo's button there that you can touch the Nemo's and then the and table, all the tables, all the okay. table um, and then the VIP lanes. So the, the pizza station person uh, knows that from the ticket that, that came through the kitchen that this goes to table number X in Nemo's and all they do, and then they hit the start button and off she goes. Wow, so, that really is simple. Over here, we have the coupons. So the coupons mm -hmm. are taking it goes directly into the kitchen on the mm -hmm. menu board, and it knows what lanes to do. Then the expediter at this point, because it's not totally integrated, mm -hmm. then sends to that specific lane or table. And then the server just is there. Now in cases where we're, it's the, during the week and it's a little slower, we could direct Bella to go to the bar and wait for her, uh, wait for the bartender, mm -hmm. he or she, to then deliver the food to the customer. In Japan, where they use quite a bit, they uh -huh. have customers taking the product off of Bella. Uh, we don't care that much for that uh, service model. We prefer that the, you know that the server uh, delivers the food and the shoes or whatever we're, we're bringing. Still have that, that personal. Uh, yeah, that yeah, give that personal touch. On that can be done in a smaller location, it can be done by just delivering down to the area and, and delivering the food sure. to the customer. And we have in some cases where people are taking the trays off when you know it goes there. And it knows that there's four levels of the tray. So if it's for lane four and the top level is there, as soon as it's done, there's a sensor 
it knows and says, thank you. And it's gonna move on and deliver it to the next lane or next table that it was uh, programmed to do. Oh, wow. I want to do a real quick shout out. Hi, Amy. Thanks for joining us this afternoon. Amy Aturi is with us today. Chris Hi. Keller says, hey, Pat, Lisa, and Bella. Thanks for joining us, Chris. Well, you know, I'm curious. Um, you guys are dreamers. It's very obvious. In fact, I think of, of you guys as kind of the Walt Disney of the bowling industry. Um, what? What uh, is your what is your vision here? What what is your I, I know you said, Pat, that this had been something that you had had been thinking about for a few years now. What uh, what's what's another dream that's floating around or what uh, what what can we expect from the Sinellos next? <laughs> well, this all started with our little rumbas that we have at the house. We have two, one on one uh -huh. and the other. Uh -huh. I kept on looking for the commercial ones, the industrial ones. We even looked at a robot that could do bathrooms because we have outside services taking care of it. Sometimes mm -hmm. they're not doing the job that we like. Uh, actually, we're looking at one in the future, near future, that will actually uh, will scrub and vacuum the bolus area floors. Uh, we'll do the carpeting areas on it. They'll all be programmed. Um, I see more of this needed uh, so that the facility people and can do other uh, things and help. It, you know, we have lane machines that walk up lanes. They, they do all the service, they're robots. We have our pin setters, pin spotters mm -hmm. that are like robots set up the mm -hmm. pins on mm -hmm. the new ring is just phenomenal. And, and we see more of this mm -hmm. happening, not to replace people, but to, you know, help us with the shortage of, uh, employees down there and train people to do it, to help us assist and give service to our customers. So this is just a tip of it. I mean, we see with online reservations on the exchange of business, we see with the kiosks everywhere you go that that's gonna be part of our uh, environment. People are very intuitive and, and, and go towards it. And so I see this continually growing and helping us get better customer service uh, and growing our businesses. Well, and you know, we have been shown many, many times that provided the customers are getting the level of service and the experience that they desire, that they don't mind paying for it. And it, this is just y'all's way of being able to take an already great experience over the top. Um, and so I, it's, just, it's just a phenomenal addition to your center. Uh, and it's so nice to see that the staff has, you know, not only are the, are, are you getting to reap the benefits from the customer, but now also that the staff feels that, that little bit of a burden off of their shoulders, that they have somebody that's going to show up that's dependable, that I'm not so sure about that and talk back yet. That's out to be, yeah, I'm not so sure if Bella doesn't have a mind of her own sometimes, but <laughs> we'll see about that. But um, I think it's just a phenomenal asset um, to your facilities. And I'm just, I'm, you know, you, you stole my heart. When I saw the video for the first time, I'm like, oh my, this is, this is just exactly what this industry needs. Number one, to get us to, you know, to, we're state of the art. This industry is state of the art. And what a great example of that with Bella that, you know, we are so concerned about the customer's experience and you guys are dedicated and y'all show the customer that you are dedicated to their experience and making it the best uh, that you possibly can. So um, I thank y'all so much for giving up your time today and for allowing me to be introduced to Bella officially. I can't wait to meet her in person. Um, I'm very much excited about that oh, opportunity. Yeah. I, I, I will try to do that as soon as I can, because she looks like somebody that I would really enjoy getting to know. You and Bella, you and Bella would get along very well. Yeah, I think I, oh, I think I would too. I can't wait. Um, so thank y'all very much for doing that. Viewers, we appreciate you tuning in. Um, I, I hope that you are as excited about this technology that's coming to our, our industry as, as we are. Uh, and keep watching us. We've got another show coming up uh, on March the 1st. 
uh, to find out how you can get 34,000 people to take a look at, or I'm sorry, 34 million people to take a look inside your center. So you won't want to miss that. Mark your calendars for March the 1st. And we're going to find out how a TikTok, a simple little TikTok video did wonders. So Pat and Lisa and Bella, thank you very much for being our guests. And viewers, we will see you next time on Beyond the Frame. Thanks for joining us this afternoon. Thanks, Thank you, thank you very much. Martha, Scott's trying to call. And... Okay, there we go. Let's end it.